Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, and today we're going to be talking about Luchens, the heroic German commander. And I do have him. I've had him for some time now. I've just been kind of grinding out more captain skills for him. And I've got him up to a 17 point commander with just the amount that I've been playing over the break and some use of free XP. So he's on my curve first in the video footage that you'll be watching in the background. And I, he's pretty much the same build that I had uh, on my 19 point curve first commander just without MLG turrets. So he's got uh, preventive maintenance which he has an improved version of that. Adrenaline Rush, BFT, AFT, and Manual Fire for secondaries. Uh, the only thing I have left to get on him is MLG Turch, which does have an improved version of that as well. And it will be back to my old uh, Kerr First Commander. So anyway, Luchens is available for 175,000 coal. That's a lot of coal for a commander. So the big question is, is Luchens worth all of that coal? And I have to say, after having him for some time, it's a lot of fun, but I don't know if it's worth the 178,000 coal. 175,000, or is it 178? It's somewhere in there. I mean, by the time we get up to 170,000 coal, it's within a couple of thousand. I think it's 178, actually. Anyway, so, especially if you are a battleship commander, I have one issue with him and that is his traits are really freaking hard to use well to activate especially if you're playing battleships because he is very much attuned towards battleships and destroyers more so, so destroyers his trait that you will be activating most often in battleships is his secondary um, expert or whatever you want to call it where when you hit 100 secondary hits the reload time of your secondary guns go down goes down another 15% and if you have a full secondary build it, they pretty much don't stop to reload at that point um, and I do have some footage of that that should be the match you're watching now and I gotta say in Kerr first when those secondaries get to that point you're like at a quarter health and you, Luchens has his trait activated, you just become a freaking chain gun of secondary fire. And I gotta say, it's really freaking useful. In the match you're watching now, toward the end, I go up against an Alsace and an Alaska, ships that are coated in uh, plating that the German secondaries can pin, thanks to their baked-in IFHE, and she absolutely does work on them. Uh, this match you're watching now, about half of the damage I do in this match is through my secondaries, thanks to Lucian's, because he kind of just goes crazy there at the end. Um, but anyway, so that's actually quite good, especially if you're using something like the Curve first. Now his other ability, which I think is called Iron Strike, which is where once you hit a hundred and twenty uh, secondary, uh, not secondary, hundred and twenty main battery gun hits, you get a buff to your reload time of your main battery guns. This is the one I have issues with. Because even in something like the Grocer Curve First that has 12 guns, it's not common for battleships to get near that many shells, shell hits, and especially German battleships. And with the accuracy buff, it's possible. I said this in the first, um, when, the, when I talked about Luchens for the first time, it's possible for a Kerr first to get that in, yes. If the match goes long and you've just been freaking running um, your main guns the entire match and you've been getting lucky with your shot placement, it's, it's possible to get that. It is. It's very possible. But just with the the current meta of everyone sitting back and no one wanting to push up and most of the time they're outside of your main battery gun range it's not gonna happen and they really should have did this with two different calibers because this is beyond easy to get in destroyers like just this is stupid easy to get in destroyers and I get it they don't want 
to have battleships, you know, popping this off and getting an 8% boost to the reload time, but they really should have done it with two different calibers. Maybe with 80 hits with battleship caliber guns, so like 305 and above, with 80 main battery hits, then that'll pop off. That's much more achievable in a battleship. Still not very often, but much more achievable than, than um, 140. And again, if this was maybe the meta a year ago, where Wargaming was trying so hard to get battleships and everyone to push in, maybe like 100 or 120 would be more feasible, but 140, that's still a lot to ask. Um, and I get these, these talents aren't supposed to be that easy to activate, but if we're going off the basis of the secondary um, expert talent, then that's that one's fairly easy to activate. So I don't see why the Iron Strike ability shouldn't be around the same. And again, 80 main battery hits, that's doesn't really happen a lot. You know, in Kerr first, in the average game, I would guess I get around 60 to 50. Just because the accuracy of the Kerr first, the current meta, um, all that factors in against, against it. So 140 main battery hits, that's a bit much to ask for battleships. They really should have had maybe 140 for destroyers, and then uh, the different caliber for um, cruisers, and then even a higher caliber for battleships. It would have been it would have been fairer that right that way, especially for a commander who's 178,000 coal. And then his reconnaissance talent. That one's this one's really weird because. If you play the Graf Zeppelin with them, you're going to get this like right away, and then you're going to heal your Graf Zeppelin when she hasn't even taken any damage yet. Um, same with destroyers too. If a destroyer is doing their job, they're going to get this in like the first minute of the game, where they just spot three ships, and then their health's going to—they're going to get a free heal when they probably haven't taken any damage yet. So that one's a bit weird. Um, I haven't ha gotten in Kerr first yet, although this one would actually be quite beneficial to uh, something like Kerr first to Bismarck because you'd be surprised how many times I just stumble up, up upon somebody um, late in the game. You know, we're both undetected and I'll spot one of them or maybe, I'll, you know, especially when you're like hunting down a destroyer late game and you're, you, you may get this, so ironically that one's probably pretty useful for battleships. I haven't got it yet though. And then his air superior air superiority talent. You know that 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 one's pretty cool. That one's pretty useful. So you get 30 hits on whatever uh, rocket planes, bomber planes, uh, torpedo planes. Your aircraft servicing time speeds up by 10%. That one's fine. I haven't really tried him with uh, Graf Zeppelin yet, but I play a lot of Graf Zeppelin. It's not difficult to get 30 hits with your plane, so that was pretty cool. So, he's pretty alright, except for the Iron Strike talent. That one, I think they need to retool that a little bit, and just, you know, like I said, tone it down by class, because again, this one, Destroyer's going to be getting this left, right, and center. Cruisers probably are too, while Battleships are probably rarely going to get this. And again, it is possible to get 140 main battery hits in something like Curfers. So it's totally possible. I've done it before, but that these games are few and far in between. And there are games to where I was just you know, the ship composition was right, the game mode was right, the map was, was right, it all played, had to have all those factors going uh, going toward me in order to get that. And if you look at some of the other commanders too, the difficulty of acquiring their special skills, or special talents or whatever, it, it swings back from stupid easy to extremely hard. So if you look at um, Kusinzov for the Russians, his emergency reserve, all you gotta do is, um, no sorry not that, emergency reserves, that's uh, when you get first blood, you get one more consumable just like Yamamoto. His will to victory though, which this is probably the easiest thing to get, you set the go below 10% health, you get a free heal, you get a free, um, you get a free damage con, and then you also get a buff to, to, um, get a buff, well, ironically, the, en the enemy ships get a nerf to the, the dispersion uh, of their guns. It goes up by 20% during this 30 seconds that this is activated. So that's kind of really powerful. 
and really easy to equip. And then you look at Yamamoto, who he's got some pretty, pretty uh, humdingers on him. So Yamamoto, when you get uh, again concealed reserves, first blood, get one tout, you get one more concealed for everything. I've gotten that. That's fairly easy to get, especially with Yamato. And then second win, you have to get Kraken for this, which I have gotten this before. Um, but again, it's kind of difficult to get, but not impossible. Especially if you're really going to kill stealing. So when you get Kraken Unleash, you know, you get that nice heal for 120 seconds. You, um, if you, you have him on a carrier, your aircraft restoration time goes down by 16%. Your main battery reload goes down by 34%. That's really powerful on Yami. There's a clip on YouTube, links on Panzer Nako's channel, where um, a Yami with the second day, with the um, main battery mod 3 and Yamamoto's talent in adrenaline rush gets like a 10 second reload on Yami with that. So that's pretty crazy. And then if we look at Halsey, his is kind of in the middle as far as um, difficulty to activate. Uh, where did I put Halsey? Oh, there he is. So, Halsey, you have to simply get... <laughs> again, simply get in quotation marks. Come on, load up page. There we go. So, if you get a double strike, your detectability range by sea and air goes down 10%. And then, if you get Confederate, your reload time of your main battery guns goes down by 20%. So, again, not hard to get, um, or well, not impossible to get, somewhat challenging to get, as most of these talents should be. It's just that with Luchin, it's really kind of weird um, that they limited... Most of these things are, are activated by certain awards. So, saying... You could say that his main battery booster, well, whatever it's called, Iron Strike... It's really weird that it's not tied to like Confederate or high caliber. It's uh, it's actually it's a hard number, which again, I would think something like Confederate or high caliber or having it based on caliber of the guns itself would be better versus just 140. Because again, destroyers are going to get this left, right, and center, and that's just feeding in more to the HE spam meta, whereas battleships won't get this very often. So, I mean. Is he worth all of that coal? If you're going to put him on a destroyer, I would say so. Because on a destroyer, you're, you're going to be rocking and rolling. It, on a, if you're going for a battleship captain, maybe not. Because yes, the secondary battery talent is very useful on stuff like Kerr first. So there's that. And you will get that quite often. I've gotten it almost every single match. That I've had him because I have a secondary build on my curve first, so it's very useful in that regard. And your secondaries do come just become just monstrous after that. But you also have to think how often is this really going to pay out? I've just gotten lucky that in these matches I've gotten close enough to be able to do that, and it's fairly late game too. And unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of health left. But again, that does feed into my secondaries just becoming a chain gun with the adrenaline rush um, skill as well. So. He's kind of worth it, but in the end, he's kind of not. And at the end of the day, you just have to look at his talents and make that choice for yourself. Me, personally, 178,000 coal for a battleship captain where you're only going to really be using one, maybe two of his talents. And if you get really lucky, you might use all three in a match. And I mean, like, really, really lucky. Like, you're, you're just, your shells are hitting... The match is going a long time. The ship composition is right. Then, yeah, he would be worth it. But realistically, not not so much so for battleships. He's more of a destroyer captain, ironically, even though he's known for the um, being on the Bismarck during the hunt for Bismarck. And I, that's kind of weird that they made him this all-around captain, and they kind of marketed him as this all-around captain when he's really ge geared toward destroyers. So, there's that. That's my opinion on Lucian's. He is fun on a battleship, don't get me wrong. But he's more well suited for destroyers. And if you're a battleship uh, player, you may want to pass on him. 
Um, will they be doing another heroic German commander? Probably not. Looks like they're just doing one per nation so far. So, that's Lucian's. He's really not worth it for a battleship captain. If you want from a destroyer, that'd be much better. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 8,000 subscribers now. We recently passed 7,000, and you guys have been awesome with that, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're having a great Friday, and I also hope to see all you guys in the next one.